Hi there. I thought I'd take a few minutes to describe some of the ins and outs of the Somnium Observatory, uh, which is my remote observatory, uh, roll-off roof observatory. Um, I thought I'd show some of the equipment that I use to, to capture some of the images. So um, maybe the first thing you, you might want to notice is uh, just here, uh, you see a little box. Um, that box is my AAG Cloud Watcher system, which is looking up at the sky at the moment and sending information back to the computer about uh, the, the cloud cover uh, and any potential rain. Uh, it can also act to close the, the roof if there's any issues. So let's go inside and have a look. So this is the observatory, it's a bit difficult to get everything in shot. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is, this is the telescope that I have, um, and the mount, and my pier. Uh, so this is a, uh, a Pegasus pier, which was uh, custom made to make sure that I could get the telescope as high as possible um, with still allowing the roof to close. Uh, and it's actually worked out quite well. Um, so I've got here Paramount PMX Plus as my mount. Uh, the load on the on the mount is quite a lot, so I've had to have an additional counterweight added to it, and also an extension bar uh, just to to handle the the load that I'm putting on the top. Uh, and then the telescope itself is an AGEO uh, 14.5 IDK, so it's a uh, corrected Dow Kirkham design, and it's a f 6.7 with a 14 and a half inch primary mirror. And it has a thermal control system. Here's the, the thermal control system, um, which controls uh, the dew heaters for the primary and secondary, uh, and also the fans at the back. So it will detect any changes in temperatures and uh, initiate the fan or the dew heaters, whichever is appropriate at the time. And it seems to work uh, really well. Uh, so out the back, uh, you'll see the actual imaging train here. Um, this is a uh, Gemini rotating focuser. Uh, it's really solid, uh, it works really well and very repeatable. I haven't had any issues with this whatsoever. Um, I've had a custom fitting made from precise parts just to get the spacing right. Uh, unfortunately, these types of focuses only have a very small amount of travel, uh, so you need to get the, the spacing exactly right if you're going to get uh, the image in focus at all. Uh, then I've got a MMOAG um, from Astrodon uh, off-axis guider, uh, and into that is a Lodestar X2 auto guider. Uh, on the back here, this is a FLI Microline um, 8300 with the color filter wheel 25, so it's two inch uh, filters in here. Um, I've got seven filters, LRGB, HA, S2, and O3 are all in there. Uh, all the systems are connected uh, to either the Versaplate, um, down there, sorry, <laughs> the Versaplate, uh, or through the mount cabling. Um, so the cables come through the back uh, and uh, and go into the computer. So I've also got an All Sky camera, which is a ZWO one twenty MC, which can look at the sky and give me an indication of what the conditions look like. And this all connects up to my computers here. Um, and I've got uh, uninterruptible power sources, uh, which are particularly to, uh, designed to drive the roof if there's any loss of power in the system. So uh, if there's loss of power in the system, it will detect it and send a command to close the roof. Uh, and that can be done just on battery power without having any mains power. Uh, this is the roll-off roof mechanism. I just made it out of an electric gate opener. And I've connected uh, the trigger up to an Arduino, which actually lives in this box here. Uh, so the Arduino uh, controls uh, the opening and closing of the roof. Uh, I'll show that in a little bit. Uh, and then over here I've got a 
uh, a flat panel. Uh, this is a bit agricultural at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, it was a little bit bright when I set this up uh, initially, and I had to put some uh, a sheet over it. it. Seems to work quite well, but um, I've got a bit of uh, acrylic coming, which will darken the um, the actual light itself, rather than having uh, something that's uneven like that uh, sheet over it. And uh, down here, this is where I, how I control all the power in, uh, remotely. So this is an, an IP power switch. So via the internet, uh, through a, uh, a browser, or, or on the computer itself, um, I can turn off and on uh, any of these uh, power points individually. Uh, and then it's all controlled through this computer. So uh, this is my webcam to keep an eye on things. Um, over here you see this is the IP power switch and if I turn on the light box uh, you might be able to see it in the daytime, let's have a look oh, it's very difficult to see, it's quite dim um, and you can see uh, the information coming back from the AAG Cloud Watcher here telling me that it's clear um, and this is the Arduino um, serial command, which closes and opens the roof for me. Uh, so I wrote uh, a bit of software and a ASCOM driver to hook into the SkyX um, or any ASCOM compatible system um, so that, that uh, the SkyX can actually control my roof uh, as well. Uh, so if I close that, that's the roof closing. it gets quite dark in here so I might turn on the light and that's my observatory uh, thanks for watching